video will we learn how to know a scrum team capacity in hearts so for calculating the team capacity i'm just using the uh, microsoft excel just open the microsoft excel go to view remove the grid line add that as print get that uh, team member details can make the all borders fill the background colors so look like a good make a bold color will be white similar kind of type pattern also apply for this make a last column as a mars put the total for team capacity put the formula over here sum total of this put that formula over here this multiply by this Enter. Apply this formula to all below columns. Now fill the data like uh, for getting the team capacity. We need a team. We need a scrum team of five members, seven members, up to nine members, as per like uh, decided by the uh, like uh, team, uh, like management and. Uh, <coughs> Fill the uh, data accordingly in this sheet. You will get that uh, team capacity. I'm just making this data as uh, this column as a center, so, uh, namely data. So I'm putting that uh, team member name. Uh, we know this what we know available days during a sprint. Yeah, like uh, so for before this, we need a uh, like need to decide the sprint length. So to weeks and then the days for that to, to week for how come that like a 10 week so 10 days is nothing but uh, like Monday to Friday for first week and Monday to Friday for second week and why do we call it because as per as per as per as per as scrum rule we can choose that minimum uh, like uh, whatever day is there like five days and maximum four weeks like one month so i have just taken that example of a uh, two weeks on for 10 days so uh, while adding the further data i'm just adding team member name we know the available days during a sprint that means indicate that out of 10 days how many days is going to work for like uh, that uh, sprint so he's working for 10 days available hours per day that means he in uh, like day one he like expand that uh, six hours time and uh, in all 10 days he'll expand six hours only so uh, in general so all together it's come for 16 hours for uh, we know take that example of uh, um, is working for nine days and is working for six hours so why nine days because he's on um, vacations for one day in that sprint time and i'll take that example for dan 
is working for 10 days again, uh, 6 hours on Johan is working for 10 days is 6 hours Peter is working for 10 days on 5 hours because he is English with the modern meeting Anand is working for 8 days 6 hours Anvi is working for 10 days Six hours. So all together, are taking the two, three, four, five, six, seven members, or like five members. So accordingly, it's depend on your team. Just fill that data. So I'm getting that uh, calculations or team capacity of uh, three hundred ninety-two. I can remove that unused cell. I'm just renaming as a sprint one. So in S print one, I got a team capacity of 392. Similarly, for S print two, S print three, and S print four, I'm just copying this one cell for S print two. Moving first, renaming it as S print two. So in S print two, it will be bad. Suppose in S print two, all the members are working for ten days. There is no no one is on vacations. So now we got the team capacity of four hundred ten hours. So and this will be bad in like S print one and S print two, and even though we are excluding the public holiday, it will be there in some time. So it will be bad. So what will say that in S print one we cannot pick that. The story for more than a 392 hours. If, if there, then we have to park it and like in for next sprint. And uh, for uh, accordingly for a sprint two and uh, respective whatever a sprint is there for that uh, up to that end of uh, that release as well. So this is uh, all about how to calculate that uh, team capacity. For more details in textual, you can also refer from my website www.tutorialbyexample.com. Uh, like it my video and uh, have a good day ahead.